Yakomo. Why are companies leaving Nigeria, the multinationals, and every other company? Why are they leaving Nigeria? A very simple question where they ask Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy. Very simple question. <laughs> when I go hear English now. <laughs> no one. Make you listen to what the guy answer. You go hear where English they they climb itself. Very simple question. Oga, why are companies leaving Nigeria? The man won't use English to kill everybody. Like say we don't know what we do for this country. That they won't use and confuse us now. We now. We be like say we know good school. You understand? Know, so as he talk around with the club for him. Wow. He talk well, he talk well, he speak English, he speak grammar. Make you help me watch the answer. We on a minister for economy and the coordinate minister of finance. Anyhow, what did they call the guy? What let you do nine day your screen? Here waiting him answer when they ask him that question. Go watch. Minister, can you explain reasons for some businesses leaving Nigeria? It appears there is fear now about the Nigerian economic climate. When we look at the economic climate, as we said, one of the major, um, particularly for the larger scale businesses, and I know you're talking about the multinationals, foreign direct investment or foreign companies, one of the major drawbacks and one of the major impediments for them was they did not have a liquid foreign exchange market. Now we have a willing buyer, willing seller foreign exchange market. It is elevated. Maybe it's not at the levels we would like it to be, but it's when you get inflation down that you can get, stabilize the exchange rate and even get it coming down similarly with interest rates and so that fight is on and it's it is an improved environment for them uh, for, for big investors as a whole and when you look at the oil and gas sector today as a result of recent measures on the fiscal side economic uh, executive orders signed by mr president have improved the investment climate for gas which we have in abundance and which most people see as a transition fuel, which you can still be investing in on, on, on the way to greener and cleaner and non-fossil fuels. But at the same time, the, the, the investment climate for the deep offshore, uh, where, where, where huge investment amounts are needed and where the technology is particularly sophisticated and therefore you need the top, top companies in the world operating, the environment for them has been improved with a, a, a range of incentives and um, it is estimated that in the nearest future those measures will unlock seven billion dollars of foreign direct investment in the oil and gas sector so it, it, it when you talk about um the, the, that sector, we are talking about the kind of areas in which there has been improvement and the companies will always come and go, of course. Our aim is to not only keep them, but to have them um, have even more uh, come in and invest. And we are sure that with the environment that we put in place, they will come. And as for the average manufacturing firm, there is a fiscal policy and tax reform committee that has worked hard to put in place a range of measures some of which are included in the economic stabilization package that uh, will be considered by mr president and the presidential economic coordination council and they, therefore they are measures which will help business which are imminent as far as the timing of the introduction so overall we, we, we are in, a, in a, a, a difficult place, but the, the direction of travel is up and is towards improvement. And so every single day, every single month, we are looking at an improved situation economically for Nigeria. You see as English declared himself. <laughs> you now, talk to you now. Maybe you don't do your master's, you don't do your PhD. Yeah. You now will watch that video. I beg, talk to you. understand anything for there? Eh? Foreign direct investment, liquidity, this other. You, are, any, you understand anything there? Now, their strategy now to the confusers. But make I bring them down to your own level so that you go understand why companies they come up for this country. The question will him no great answer. Make an answer for you. 
inside this country now when i say this the way dollar and naira they will move themselves eh? when i see this inflation they say now high they say now eh, inflation because there's something like high this inflation we did he follow cost companies wrong come out and i will give you an example a uh, company now where they do solid production as in you know they do all this they are a uh, uh, half hazard how i'll take put them now all this small small like adult rated product uh, uh, did they give standard production a very good example now maybe company where they do indomie all these mobiles and the rest of uh, uh, you know that now, nah, nah, uh, as everything done high now, so them to source their material, I be their raw material where they use the run their matter. You go also high, the raw materials in the market now are high, and they cannot compromise on quality. So, they go buy a uh, uh, substandard raw materials to do that. So they go go for the real one so that they go fit to standard quality production. Now, they can't do their indomie, bring them. You know, sir, go include that high cost of raw material inside the indom so that people go feed buy. But as they run and finish, nobody buy. Why? Because it costs. Instead, people are now chopping abacha instead of indom. <laughs> people now prefer to eat abacha instead of buy what indom. Why? Because the indom it costs. Let me say the abacha no cost, but in the it costs past what abacha. So they don't look and say, oh man, these people that are not eating abacha, they don't get off our indomie. When Kukuma come out for here, go another place where they go appreciate our indomie. If you look at very well, all these things we would have chopped before will make sense. You know, sir? We did very costly now. Nigerians don't get alternative. Okay, you know, no. They don't get alternative now. Some people, instead of eating bread, because bread now don't cost, Omo, na akara, chop your akara go. <laughs> okay, you know, no. very soon, eh? Companies, so they do bread, all of them go to the wrong companies. <laughs> that is number one. Number two, insecurity. Insecurity, a career. You understand? Know, all these companies, most of them will be. Um, foreigners, you know, they are afraid of their life. I'll be their lives. I know that I won't take talk because anybody would they kidnap now. Oh, man, I'm on you, you know, and very soon, all these kidnappers now on top of these companies, I now embody their eye good day because uh, imagine say you kidnap factory owner, company owner, you know, how much you go be. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. so they are packing up, they don't want anything associated with insecurity. Where you go here now, maybe they say strike a uh, 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 Wahala bust that for place like maybe inside just one company where they inside just I say Wahala bust that for just like this now. You understand? Know, I you know so all those, but they don't hear anything. Now, companies and uh, all this stuff, now they the targets you go there, say they don't bought this one, bought that one. You will see investments going down the drain. So, now these two reasons, so I don't know for other reasons, but you see this particular two now, why then they run? They know one day, you understand? Know, because number one, you cannot after producing your uh, goose, nobody go buy. Nigerians will now go for the alternative. You are doing indomie. Nigerians are now eating abacha. And insecurity, you understand? Uh, 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 everywhere in Africa, you still can't produce inside insecurity. And they kidnap you, or they do anything, or they burn down your business. Or it, it better say make you just pack yourself, come out. That, now that you know, you see all those long, long English where that man speak for there. Muna leave him. He don't know anything where they talk. That is the way to confuse Nigerians. Did I make sense? Abi, I know make sense. I make sense, Abi. I guess as past that minister, Abi. Uh, you could take my own now. All those things we here for them. No take anything. Which you won't take. We don't even hear anything. <laughs> I'll go see you later. Go. For centuries, the Ijele has been a revered masquerade in Igbo land, a predominant tribe in southern Nigeria. The Ijele is a grand spectacle that commands respect, awe, and celebration. Today, Innocent Vehicles brings you the Ijele in a new form. A majestic, robust, and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history.
no one on the wall You tell me don't enter See the bed no take go In a simple heat was a free day full ago the Innocin Ejele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocin Ejele, Innocin vehicle, the pride of African roads.